If you like Overwatch, then your opinion is wrong. Or at least that's what they want you to think. See, it's like the debate on if pineapple belongs on pizza. One side just likes fruits on their pizza, and the other one literally wants to raise the earth and eliminate the other side from existing. So in the same way, until the game is picture perfect, there are people who will keep on harassing those who support his progress, going on witch hunts. So I'm gonna lay out the facts for you, from a neutral perspective, or at least I'll try to. So watch until the end, hear me out on what the current state of Overwatch is, and decide for yourself whether or not it deserves this scrutiny. Before we go on, 99% of you aren't subbed, so please just subscribe. Over the past few weeks, Overwatch has made a tremendous amount of progress towards being a more balanced game where every hero is playable, but there are some changes that feel like you're stepping on a Lego in the middle of the night. Now, the main complaint from the community is the fact that you are paying for cosmetics, which in all honesty means skins, but they're trying to monetize all this other hot garbage, like voice lines, player icons, banners, and trinkets to have on your weapons even though the weapon inspect that they were showing in the trailers isn't in the game. We do not want this. It feels like when you log into the game, you're immediately blasted with adverts. Like, buy this, or this. Did you know we have a sale on this? Or a bundle with that? And just because there's a new game mode with the Battle of Olympus does not mean that you need to go and advertise these skins so much and then put them at a $20 price range. That is absurd. And you're telling me this brig skin that looks like it's the model for Ikea is worth as much as the whole entire battle pass? Naming your bundles like Snow and Gunpowder and then putting Beach Junkrat does not make any sense and you still push it. It's at the top of the shop. Blizzard is becoming like one of those TikTok ethos that barks in obedience of whatever the investors say and is getting sickening. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. If you're putting in old skins, then don't push them for $36 in a bundle, thinking $12 a skin is normal. Now, games with high prices on their skins at least give players currency to save up and buy something with their battle passes, so they don't necessarily have to spend money if they play the game enough. But what does Blizzard do? Overwatch 2. They rip away a player to make it 5v5 and try to sell everything at top dollar. Now, if you ignore that, what you really have is a gem of a game, a fun 5 5v5 laid back team fighting game that is constantly the same heroes playing again and again. Don't believe me? Look at the pick rates. Roadhog, Orisa, Anna, Mercy, Kiriko, Sojourn, Soldier, Reaper. Junkrat can be added into that mix too. That's what the game feels like right now. Orisa and Roadhog feel so oppressive with their damage output that you can't play any other tank. Oh, that definitely looks sweet. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Because you need that same damage to combat it. Sojourn Mercy Pocket is still busted. Reaper and Soldier to melt the tanks as fast as possible, anything with the super high DPS output. Anna, after a buff, has seen an unprecedented pick rate. She is now 10% pick rate. And it doesn't seem like a big of a deal because it's used to combat Roadhog. But as soon as Roadhog gets addressed, we're going to need to address Anna. Now, these are the main problems plaguing the game from entering this sort of golden era where the heroes aren't super busted, but still good, where every hero is viable. Now, the problem is, when when the Roadhog nerf comes in about a week or so, and Orisa gets nerfed, there's going to be a power vacuum where we will start needing to evaluate the strengths of Ramatra, for example. You guys are just stopping the staring contest! Go, 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 go. Nah, Blizzard needs to fix their game, dude. Nah, Blizzard, Blizzard is on the f yeah, they're on the good sh Dude, they need to fix their game. Because he's good right now. He's very good. But because of such oppressive tanks like Arissa and Roadhog, we don't necessarily see that. The reason all of this is so hard is because the game was originally made on the basis of 6v6. So there was a lot to balance with tanks and other roles, where there was two of each role to play off one another and provide different roles within that category. Main tank, off tank, for example. Main healer, off healer, for example. Get rid of the other tank is what makes the game so hard to balance. For example, Hammond. 
his kit was built to be an off tank so forcing him to be a solo tank doesn't do much benefit for the team without them being either one actually good at Hammond or two amazing at using his CC or just getting lucky with it and managing to squeak out a win besides that he doesn't have much in terms of being a team tank like Reinhardt with a massive shield or Zarya that can bubble her teammates or D.Va that can just eat all the projectiles people say that the removal of excess shields is good the CC being all but removed altogether except for a few abilities here and there is good and has a lot of unforeseen circumstances movement characters like genji tracer even sojourn with her slide jump ability do whatever they want almost unimpeded because you can't realistically pin them down as easily characters with one shots like roadhog sojourn even snipers like widow and hanzo are going to start being questioned because in the past there was enough shields for example to keep widow from picking off your team and this is where the divide in the player base could form since the original game and the sequel have separate player pools separate experiences leading to difficulties and a lack of a unified community on what to balance how to balance in what direction to balance listen to the pros and they're only going to tell you how pros play it's going to ruin the experience for low level if you listen to the low level ranked players whatever you're going to ruin the experience for the high ranked players this is where the next point comes in where competitive is starting to feel so pointless to the community where you aren't shown progress for the wins you aren't showing a ranked border even when your character says oh i'm on fire the voice line is still said, but you don't get the cool animation like before on, around your character border. The end card is being removed. The removal of being able to endorse the enemy team for a good game. Everything just makes it seem so much colder now. There's no personality and it's just get in, get out as fast as possible to keep playing or buy skins or something. It feels so foreign. And this is not the game that I remember playing. Yes, of course, there's going to be changes, so it's not going to remain exactly the same, but I've been finding myself slipping out of competitive and even unrated just to go into custom games go into arcade games and then eventually just getting tired of that because for example the battle of olympus even though there's other characters 99 percent of the time people are just going to pick the tank characters because tanks are broken right now with the upcoming changes to roadhog and hopefully orissa tanks should become more of a balanced role and there's going to have to be more changes to heroes but i think finally it's becoming good in terms of just heroes and their game states now overall if pve this year is a flop i think a lot of players are going to become very casual only getting on maybe once in a while to play with friends not really on their own time because they don't see anything rewarding from the game they don't see the fact that they can show off their rank to other people they feel like the battle pass isn't worth it and i think it's just going to be viewed as fun and nothing of substance to keep the community to sticking to it now i really do love this game because it was a gift from my friend so i have a lot of good memories and its grip on me is starting to slip but let me know what you think i'm i'm very i'm hopeful but at the same time i need to look realistically and i want to know what you think about that as well as always gg easy